Hello, Max Angie 7 m here for another live operating video. And this is Hotel Delta 8 Romeo, Galapagos Islands on 40 meters. And it's about 0341 Zulu here on um, October 27th. So uh, this is uh, local time in Utah is 941 p.m. So Hotel Delta 8 Romeo just took a little break here. He likes to take these five minute breaks. And so we just started calling again, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the audio on. You'll hear both channels. You're going to hear the pileup this time. So you're going to hear where the pileup's calling. And let me just uh, move that down here to where nobody's calling. And we're at 500 hertz here. The uh, RF is all the way up. And let's see here. Guys are calling him. And he's... There he is. He's got a pretty good signal here, but there's a little more noise tonight. There's some more atmospheric noise, some static crashes. Um, so here I'm going to turn the filter down. Go down about 250 hertz. Let's go down to 200 hertz here. No noise reduction. And the AGC is on fast. Wait for him to come back. So you, you will hear him on the left channel, the pilot. There's some debate on whether you should use the RF gain on a, a, a direct sampling SDR. I tend to like it, get rid of that noise for a little bit. So we're listening to just the peaks above a certain level there. It's obviously a little different than a traditional analog receiver. So he seems to be dropping down a little bit here. Uh, I'll turn on the uh, noise. I just kicked on the noise reduction, and by the way, that, that noise reduction is a 3 there. That was a 3. It's a little tricky here to give this demo. You know, if we could, when he transmits again, I'll kind of move through the settings on the Aircraft K4. So, so, he, so I kind of move up through 1 to 3 to 4 to 5 is a little more aggressive, and then it backs off. I'm on 8 now. Sounds pretty good. I don't know what the algorithms are actually there. But um, that gives you a little idea what... You know, I probably tend to use maybe 2 or 3. It just depends on what the noise sounds like. But I think for this demo, I'm going to kick the noise reduction off right now. So you heard me kick it off there. And now let's go ahead and see if I can figure out where this where he's listening. He's been a little more tricky here. He's not um, completing a few QSOs on the, where he listens on the same frequency. So let's see how this goes. This is a DB18 two elements at... I actually have my antenna lowered down a little bit. It had some wind. So it's down about 60 feet right now here in northern Utah. And I'll be running about 1400 watts here. And it looks like he worked somebody... He's being a little more elusive here. So I can't... Oh, let's see. A little more elusive here, so this might be a little tricky. I'm going to find a little valley here and call him. I haven't really identified a good pattern here where he's moving every time. It's working at HK. That guy doesn't know his own call sign, I guess. HK4. Way down here. See, he's way down here. I could use the mouse. To... Eh, that sounds like a V. A little more tricky, right, when you can't necessarily hear who he's working. But I can grab the right mouse button. That might be a little quicker here. Move around just to change my uh, receive frequency on the sub VFO there, sub receiver. Okay. 
ですね。Is a Victor Alpha? He signed. See, he's not. He's not taking another QSO on that same frequency. So this will be a little trickier. I'm going to move up, find a little clear frequency here, throw my call out. He's being pretty selective here. sounds pretty good. I can fiddle with the filters a little bit. Go back to about 350 hertz there on the filter. Turn the RF up a little bit. There's RF all over. He's pretty loud. I mean, he's a good S9 here. You'll notice on the S meter, um, I mean, 40 meters is not the place to use a preamp. But if I turn the preamp on, you're not going to see that S meter chain, which is nice. I mean, that's a proper S meter, the way that they've implemented that, Yellowcraft. So I'll just... He's working on Oscar Zoot. Too much commentary and less uh, work in the DX here. You can see the noise floor bouncing around there. I have it on the automatic adjust, so the noise floor is going to adjust maybe a little bit based upon those static crashes. 40 meters, right? I think. Turn the RF down a little bit. Maybe. Eh, it's not going to give it away here. There's a lot of shotgun operating going on here. And if he's moving every time and there's not much of a pattern, it, it gets pretty tricky. So, you, you know, sometimes you need to revert to a little bit of that. Is that a Lima Tango? I mean, I'm not pointed towards Europe either. i got the beam pointed southeast. LZ1. He seems to be focusing on Europe. There's a shotgun, I'll just throw it out there. I can narrow down that filter on the uh, sub receiver, just hit B set. And it's at 350 right now, I'll go down to 200 hertz. Pretty tight. So now we're pretty tight on the sub receiver. Use the mount, move around. Working at Echo Alpha. So he seems to be focused on Europe a little bit. Wasn't that a station? My oh, Europe's off the side of my beam, right? A little trickier here. Um, I could change. Change the span, you know, and see how wide that pile is. Open the span up, so now we're seeing more of the spectrum from uh, 8 kilohertz above the band edge up to 13 kilohertz. Sierra Victor. Sierra Victor one.
Move down a little bit. A little more. Seems like he's... Working a Delta Fox. He's being quite the squirrel moving around here, it feels like. And he's focused on Europe. Oh, so there's a guy up here is calling CQDX. Are you sniffing around trying to find somebody? A little harder. We're going to HA. Sound a little bit like my call here. I got excited. <laughs> I think he's down here, maybe. Move up a little bit. Nope. Nope. And work in the DL. Not my night here. KUA, DL, something KU. Not that guy. Working at Echo Alpha. trickier there. Uh, that was a little more of a shotgun approach. Uh, you know, he seemed to be jumping back and forth there. So, um, we'll get a HD8 Romeo in the log there. And we'll see if I post this video. I don't know if I showed you much there. Um, might be kind of fun to watch that sometimes. There's 500 Hertz. He's really booming in here in Utah. Sounds pretty good. So not a whole lot of need for noise reduction. There is 50, there's 500 hertz on the fil filter. RF is open all, or up all the way. Anyway, I don't know if you found that interesting. Thanks for watching and I have fun chasing some DX here on the bands. It's it's a lot of fun. The last last a year and a half has been pretty uh, pretty bleak. So. Anyway, 7-3, and if you like the video, give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye, NG7M.